It will come as a little surprise to many of you that it is time for more Minecraft Bingo and Brian trying to black out a random card. And today we have 269323, apparently looks like this. And I see 16, 19, 22, 24 iron, I think, which is not a large number. But at a glance, a bit of this card looks friendly. We do need an emerald and a diamond and a jungle. And pumpkin seeds could be a little bit dodgy. And the milk bucket is a little bit of a pain in the neck. And the TNT for the cart is a little bit of a pain in the neck. Uh, and the name tag could be a little bit of a pain in the neck. But overall, this doesn't look too bad. I think I like my chances, especially if we have a good spawn point. I may have mentioned it in some other previous video, but I'm recording this now today, despite the fact that I have not one, not two, not three, but four other games that I have downloaded and installed, and I think three of them I've played a little bit of just to try to, like, get recordings working, get set up or whatever. Oh, there's a jungle to the... I didn't see for sure which direction it was, but there was a jungle visible. It's right there. There we go. Okay, I'm going to start heading in that direction now. Is there mushroom stew on this card? I don't think there is. And there's not a fermented spider eye either. So I do not need to worry about any mushrooms. And let me get my tools started. I don't need an apple here. I do need the clay that I just passed by, and that would be a good thing to be cooking up in a furnace right off the bat, so let's try to grab some of that really quick. Great. And there is some stone right over here. Okay. So yeah, I have all of these games, but when it comes time to sit down and record, I end up just recording more Minecraft. And yeah, it's basically the reason is pretty straightforward. It's because I'm lazy and I'm stuck in a rut. <laughs> I am prone to being stuck in a rut. Uh, it is just in my nature that I am not particularly, I don't know, aspirational and uh, the type of person who spends extra energy to necessarily like seek out new experiences and try new things. And so here we are. Let me go ahead and get these tools going, and let's go ahead and also... Lots of coal here, so I can use that on this just to start. And I will want more coal, although I don't need as much of it on this card, unless I do find a village where we want to trade for the emerald. Uh, but I think I'll also try to get myself, yeah, enough for a second furnace, because those are always good. And that is almost done. Let's also go ahead and get the glass bottles going. And then I can chop down another tree or two. Uh, it would help if I had, oops, these things in the correct locations. Great. Yeah, and yeah, it's also, I'm just kind of in the state of, I expect that some of these games I will enjoy, um, but until I actually get to the part where I'm kind of playing a new game and enjoying it, there is the initial part where you're trying to like get started with a new game and maybe you'll enjoy it and maybe you won't enjoy it. And there's this uncertainty phase and there's a bit of extra effort and work in terms of like getting started in a new game and learning about it and uh, doing the extra different things you need to do to record this particular game because different recording software works different with different things and trying to get the audio balance right. I actually did try to record uh, an episode or two of one of the games and yeah, the audio balance was off and so I had to throw out the recording because uh, it sounded awful, uh, which is fine because I can just go ahead and restart that. And yeah, and so I'm back here and yeah, I can tell also, like, it's just, I'm um, also just kind of, like, sad about Minecraft kind of stuff, because the 1.13 update did not go the way that I hoped that it would go. Do I need, I do need a spruce sapling, and I see a spruce tree over here, 
And I do need some sugar cane as well, and that could be hard to come by. I need at least three for the fireworks rockets, and I don't recall if there were any others. One for a piece of sugar, uh, which I can go ahead and get now. And then I don't recall if there were any other sugar bits that I need. Uh, I'll just go ahead and we can walk to the jungle from here. Ooh, is there any easy iron? Because if I can get the bucket earlier, okay, that seems to just dead end. Uh, it would make our lives easier if we encounter a cow in the near future. There are chickens here, but I don't need them for anything. Let's try to get our spruce sapling. Actually, I might need them because I don't have any good food items yet. So I might consider killing the chickens. Hmm, do I want to do that or do I think I'm going to find better food yet? I think I will probably find better food in the near future. Let's just do that. And then let's also do this. All right, and then we should be on good good shape for wood on the run. And we should get this over here in just a moment. Uh, can I see any other food animals of a different sort? I don't right now. And so just in case I end up desperate for food, we'll go ahead and get the chicken meat. But yeah, I wouldn't call it I wouldn't call it depressed. I think it's more just kind of like boredom or whatever. But like I had a lazy open schedule for the day and basically kind of stayed in bed until close to noon and got up and had some lunch and watched a video and went back to bed on this Sunday. Um and yeah, it's just cuz I don't have anything uh on my own that I'm passionate to work on. Like, I'm still enjoying playing Minecraft Bingo, and I expect I will enjoy getting into some of the games uh, that I will be playing. But I still, I guess, haven't gotten over the loss, as it were, of the other plans I had in terms of Minecraft programming kind of things that I was hoping to do. That got, um, yeah, basically, <laughs> those possibilities got taken away by things out of my control in terms of what happened with the 1.13 update. Yeah, and so that's the state that I am in, and I don't know. I don't know that there's any uh, lesson or anything kind of like noteworthy here. Okay, I see the cocoa beans over there, and I eventually need the cookie. And then I also do want to find a melon, which I don't think I've spotted yet. All right, we've got a lot of pork chops now, and so once we get those cooked up, we'll be in very good shape. Here is a melon. Terrific. Very good luck with um, melons in jungles. I think I'm on a streak of when I needed a melon, um, always managing to find it in a jungle for like many, many straight bingo runs. Okay, so what else do I need from the surface? Let's focus on the card for a moment. I eventually need to find a cow, and so that will be a valuable thing to look for. And an emerald is going to be needed. And there's a few ways that I can think about that. The sugar cane. I also need a cow for the leather. And the sugar cane. I see more sugar cane over there, but I'm not sure that I need it. And so I want to glance by deserts that could contain either pyramids or villages, both of which could be places where we might get an emerald kind of the easy way. And especially in kind of savanna portions, there might be opportunities to see some cows grazing somewhere. But I have also learned how important it is to take at least a peek into every uh, vaguely promising cave system one finds. Because caves can be surprisingly hard to come by in this cave game. Oh boy. All right, there's more bad guys in there than I thought. I think it's a spider dungeon based on the two spiders. I actually didn't get a good look at the mob spawner itself. And if it is a spider dungeon, then it's going to be no problem yet as a spider dungeon to deal with these guys because they can't get out. I can still walk close enough where they can hit me. Oh, sure. Give me the spider eye now. I think I needed a spider eye in my last two runs. Oh, that's actually a very nice chest. A lot of iron in it. Uh, enchanted golden apple also doesn't suck. The pumpkin seeds that I need are terrific. Um, yes, let's actually take a moment uh, to, I think, just cook up a lot of food. Sounds good for the moment. 
All right, I do not need watermelon seeds. I can already craft the cookie, so let's get that done. Um, I'm not going to use those. I don't need that. I don't need that. Uh, I will eventually need a fishing rod, and so let's go ahead and make it so I can't forget about it later. I think there may be a zombie dungeon near me, uh, but that's okay. If there is, it could be useful to have some of these, and an enchanted golden apple is a terrific thing to have on the bar, and eventually I am going to definitely want an iron pickaxe, so let's go ahead and get that made. I would like a bucket as well, but since I'm in a cave, I think the pickaxe will be more valuable. And can I go ahead and eat this now? I cannot. Uh, can I see? Are we getting anywhere here? No, we are not. Um, and is there anything else from the card that needs to be found in a dungeon? I don't think so. Uh, the gunpowder is actually something I should be collecting already. Okay. So I think... I got what I wanted out of this dungeon, and I think I'm going to go back to the surface unless I see an obvious way that this is going much farther down from a different direction. Um, yeah, let's take a peek over here. Doesn't look like it's going anywhere there, and that looks like it's yeah going up to the surface as well. I think this is not the way I came in, and my boat is actually back over here. Yeah, it is. Okay, and do I see any cows while I'm up here? I do not. Okay. Ha! Huh. My boat's getting pushed around by the squids. There... I don't think there's a way to put a squid in a boat in survival. Uh, I'm not actually sure about that. But while most entities... Do I need a... I do need a green thingy. Let's grab that. Hello, green thingy. Get in my inventory. And also, I'm going to need four more pieces of sand. So let's have those ready to go. My inventory is already starting to get cluttered. Uh, there's no ender slime on this card, is there? That's a good thing. I suppose that's one of the things that makes this card feel kind of easier off the bat. There is a village. Um, I don't have anything to trade just yet. So what I would prefer to do is remember where that village is. I can see it. And perhaps go there in the daytime. So that is to the south of me uh, on the ocean over here. Wouldn't necessarily have to go to the village if I did find my own um, emerald while I was caving. And so if I do find a cave over here, I could skip the village. So I think I'll start over here and see if I can find a cave but be kind of like making my way back toward the village for finding a cave. Uh, but I would like to... Ouch. Rack up some coal. Hey. Furry trade. Hey. I would also like to stay alive. Uh, do I need to eat this thing yet? I'll eat this one. How's that? Just to ensure that we stay alive. And then where's all my pork chops? Oh, they were on my bar. They were just in a different spot than I was expecting. Um, I happen to see the fishing rod on the bar, and my inventory is a little bit cluttered. And so it seems like an opportunity to unclutter things a little bit. These are usually here, and I usually have a bucket there. Okay, that makes me feel better about uh, some of the inventory management that's going on. Okay, and so we're looking for a cave. And yeah. Let's try to go get some cavey bits, and then we can come back upstairs if we're still missing an emerald. Uh, but step one is to find a cave. And I have both been working on just speaking better in terms of saying words as I'm doing the commentary on these episodes. But I'm also trying to find things other than just what is immediately happening in Minecraft to speak about. And so, since I was already talking about for me, and how, uh, you know, I don't know, it can be important or nice or useful or whatever to have something that you're passionate about that causes you to get up out of bed on the weekend because you want to work on a project. <laughs> um, yeah, what projects do you have that you are passionate about that you enjoy working on? Do you have comments along these lines? 
you would like to leave or read the comments of others, I invite you to do so in this particular video. How do you like that? We're having a discussion. Um, still not seeing any kind of good cave system entry, but I will continue to look for it. I'm trying to avoid digging because digging very, very rarely pays off is what I think I'm starting to learn with all the statistics that I have gathered to the extent that I have gathered them. They're obviously subject to internal psychological biases because I haven't been, you know, writing things down uh, in terms of the outcomes I've had. Yeah. Oh, it looks like there could be a cave on the side of this mountain that might go downwards. So we'll head over there. I didn't want to get too close to the village because I was afraid of the zombies attacking the villagers uh, and possibly losing my opportunity to trade with them. But it appears that since I haven't been able to find any caves anywhere anyway, that here I am. Oh, hold on. All right, well, found a cave of some sort. Oh boy. Those two are fighting each other, which works out very well for me. Who's gonna win? I think they both have one more shot on each other. All right, perfect. Um, there's the gunpowder I need. There's some coal, which is great. Uh, I didn't have any dungeon items that I need to get. I do note that my, whatchamacallit here is very low. Ah, darn it, I called it a whatchamacallit. My weapon, my stone ax is very low. So let's correct that. And let's also take a moment to drop off a few things that I don't need once again. And I could have even crafted up the TNT. I'll try to remember that in the future. To go ahead and get the TNT crafted so that it's just one item in my inventory. I do see... Oh, that's village stuff out there. So yeah, we might have villagers dying to zombies and things right now. But I'm going to choose not to worry about... I don't need to get more coal. I got some coal from that dungeon. Choose not to worry about it right at the moment. I see the zombie over there, but I just want to head downwards. I would love to get down to diamonds and things if possible. Uh, I'm not sure that this cave is actually going to go anywhere. Well, go anywhere sufficiently downwards to make me feel good about things. But we are starting to gather a fair amount of items that need to be smelted. So let us begin the smelting process. And what level am I at vertically right now? I am at... Um, 49 is still pretty high. I said I could craft the TNT, so let's go ahead and do that. I don't think I have enough spare iron that I want to put it in a cart just yet. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I would like to clean up the inventory. So let's do that. And then I think I still have enough iron left over that I can make myself a bucket, which is something that I very much want. And yeah, then we'll be able to pick these back up and continue moving. And I said repeatedly that I didn't want to dig, but we are underneath the village and I do still want to kill a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to try to go back up there in the daytime. And from downstairs, I need one piece of gold and one piece of diamond, I think. So I'm going to take a risk and just see if we can manage to get those things by a quick dig down. And then go back upstairs during the daytime. Hopefully there will still be some villagers who are left alive. And among those villagers, see if there are any who want to trade, which does remind me that I still need to get a big batch of coal. Oh, crap! Well, it's not going to matter. Darn it. That is the risk one takes, digging downwards. Uh, let's see how we are doing in terms of being able to turn this one around. Hmm. I did a fair amount of busy work. But I really didn't get any of the big risks crossed off this list, did I? 
there's still the emerald, the diamond, the milk bucket that comes from finding a cow, the lapis, and the name tag. And those were probably the five biggest risks right at the start of the card. And so we are almost 20 minutes into this one. And I think I've lost too much progress. I think this is one that would take me over 40 minutes to complete at this point. And yeah, that has disappointed me. So I think I'm going to call this one short. <laughs> uh, and just call it a loss. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This one was for the conversation, I suppose. So yeah can i say i hope you enjoyed watching probably disappointed in the outcome but i have in the last few days done a few where i recorded for sometimes more than an hour um and usually completed the card but often didn't but often had just like lots of periods of fast forwarding and things and just kind of wasn't happy in terms of how it was turning out in terms of the video that i've thrown on the cutting room floor and so i figure i should air one of these just as a way to call out the fact that I'm not always being as successful as you see me on camera. And so here's a case of me being unsuccessful on camera, just so you know that it happens. <laughs> I hope as always that you guys are having a great day and I'll see you again soon with more Minecraft bingo and hopefully some other games as well. Bye-bye.